everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. I am so, so excited today because we are finally doing my updated closet tour. Yes! <laughs> if you haven't watched it already, I did do a vlog all about me like buying my stuff from my closet and going to Ikea and getting my shelves and building my shelves and stuff. I will link it down below for you if you haven't watched it already. Please go check that out first. That video did go up like I think over a week ago and it did take me a little while to get all of the stuff ready for my room, but it's finally here and I'm ready to show you my updated closet tour. I did upload a closet tour when we first moved into this apartment maybe about a year ago now and I guess some things have changed so I will link that down below for you guys if you are curious to know what it did look like before. But yeah I'm here to show you my closet today and without further ado let's get started. One more thing before we start the tour please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like my room or like me or my stuff that I have I guess because I do upload videos every single week and I would love to have you back here. All right now let's get started. All right, so here is just a general overview of my entire closet. It just looks like this when you walk in. If you didn't know, we actually turned our second bedroom into my closet because we really had no use for it and I just thought it was the perfect size. It's not too big or anything, but I think it's the perfect size for a little workspace and walk-in closet. So I think we'll first start off with this wall. Obviously this wall is my favorite because it has all of my handbags. If you look at the top, I actually decided to put some of my Chanel boxes up on here. I'm not really sure how I like this yet. You guys let me know down below if you guys like it. So starting off with the first little display case I have here, this, if you watched my vlog, is actually my new IKEA packs. I previously only had bookshelves, but I decided to get the pack system because I did want to add a couple of drawers. I won't go into detail about all of my decorations, but I will mention a few of them that are my favorite. The first one is this really cute little picture that my friend drew me, and it just says Saki, and it has a few of my favorite things, like my purses and planner, and she actually gifted this to me for my birthday last year, and I love it so much. And then here we have my little Chanel vintage vanity case, which I will be doing an entire video of, so please stay tuned for that. And yeah, I just kind of tried to make my little shelves into basically like boutique displays. Plays, I guess that was my inspiration. Previously I just had like all of my shoes together and all my bags together but I just really like the way that it looks like scattered like this with like decorations in between. If you see something in this video and you want to know where it's from and I don't mention it please leave me a comment down below and I will try my best to find it for you. Most of the things that you see here like these flowers and this little flower pot are from Michaels. I just think that they have the cutest little decorations. And honestly, this is like one of my favorite little displays with my Chanel boy bag and these couple of books right here. These books are from Megan Hess. I just bought them from Amazon. All right, so let's actually delve into what I have in these drawers right here. So the first drawer that I have is actually all of my pants. <laughs> so yes, my sad little drawer of pants. I actually only have well, five pairs as you can see. I'm not really a pants person so this drawer is pretty much empty. The second drawer that I have is actually all of my black clothing. I don't have too many pieces but I do like to keep a few just in case. So I decided to put them all in here, kind of hide them away from my pastel wardrobe theme I guess. The next two drawers I actually just have all of my sweaters. This was actually what inspired me to get drawers in the first place. I was just noticing some of my sweaters were getting like really stretched out from all the hangers so I decided to buy these drawers to put all of my sweaters in. So they're just in there and then I also have one more drawer of all my white sweaters. So just to let you guys know my IKEA pack shelves are actually the smaller size. There are two sizes in terms of width. I bought the smaller one just so that I would go with my bookcase. As you can see the space in between them isn't that big but if I had gotten the larger one I think it would have come up to like maybe about here so the small ones are really great if your space isn't too large however do keep in mind that some of the items aren't available for the small shelves for example they have these shelves but if you guys have ever seen like the clear shelves or the ones with organizers in there you have to buy the bigger PAX IKEA system so I will link the bigger one and the one that I have down below for you as well but just keep that in mind if you are looking to add PAX systems to your wardrobe. All right moving Moving on to the middle, this was actually my original display. I've changed it up a lot, however. These are the Billy bookshelves from Ikea. You can customize where you place the shelves, so I decided to make them into a display like this for my handbags and my shoes. Let's just start off with this narrow bookshelf on the side. Here I've put all of my Chanel bags in a row. I just love the way that this looks. I actually decided to do this because I saw it on Chase Amy's account. And I just love the way that it looks with like all of my bags because it looks like they have like their 
their own little cubby or their own room and I just love that so much. I kind of try to display them by size as well just to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. Alright here in the middle I have this little display for some of my cute clothing. I know it's kind of useless to only hang like five shirts here but I just love the way that it looks. So if you're wondering how I actually put this in on my bookshelves is I actually bought this little tension rod from Target. They have a lot of different sizes so you just have to measure your bookcase if you are looking to do this and buy the right one. And then I just put it here at the top and the reason why it's kind of laid out like flat and diagonal like this is because the width of the hangers is actually like larger than the width of the bookshelves so I had to move them to the side just to be able to display them. And then I also get a lot of questions about these hangers as well. I think I did buy them off of eBay so I will try to link them down below for you guys if I can find them again. Alright moving down I just have a little area for my SLGs and sunglasses. I don't have a ton of SLGs and wallets so I decided to put them all on the shelf like this. This is probably like one of my favorite pieces. It's my Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet. And I just love the way that it looks like flat laid out like this. And then on this side, I just have a few cheap sunglasses. I'm not really a sunglass person, so I just love the way that these look for display. And then of course, you guys saw this in my vlog, but it's a pineapple that I got from Home Goods. Moving down, we have this little cute display that I decided to dedicate to like me and Noah and our wedding. I have this Kate Spade bride clutch that you probably have seen a couple of times already. And then I bought these really cute flowers from Michaels. I just thought they kind of go with my wedding theme. And then I also have this really cute book from Kate Spade called All in a Good Taste. I just love the way the display looks and I think the pearly details on these two shoes go really well with like the wedding theme. And then I have a picture of me and Noah from our engagement right here as well. Alright, moving down, I have all of my Valentino rock studs. However, hint hint, these are not Valentino rock studs. They're actually a pair of dupes that I got on Amazon. I'll link them down for you below if you are interested, but the other three pairs are Valentino. And I just love the way that like all the studs look together, so I thought I'd put them there together. And then on the bottom, I just have my two like luggage looking pieces. I have my Louis Vuitton Speedy and then my Chanel Vintage um what do you call that like a bowling bag I guess but I do like to use these two pieces for travel and I like the way that they look next to each other because they're kind of similar in shape so I just threw those on the bottom moving on to my other narrow billy bookcase I just have some more bags here the first bag is my Liz Lisa bag and then I have my two Louis Vuitton bags and then my little Dior, another Liz Lisa bag, and then my Givenchy. These are all kind of like top handle looking bags, so I thought they looked really cute together. And then lastly, I have another Ikea packs on this side. However, it's all just the shelving units. On the top shelf, I decided to put my shoes like forwards and backwards just so that you can see the design on the back. I actually really wanted to do it just to show off my one pair of Louboutins up there. But I guess it looks really cool with like these Gucci shoes with the red and the spikes in the back and also my really, 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 really old pair of Jeffrey Campbells with the spikes in the back like this. Next, I have a couple of my designer flat shoes. So I have my Valentino Rockstas, my espadrilles, my Gucci sandals, and then also my Chanel flats. And on the third shelf I just have this really cute display. Like I said, I tried to do this whole thing like boutique style, so this kind of reminded me of like a little boutique. And then I have some more pumps and then some more bags. This was kind of like displayed really, really randomly just because I didn't really know what to do with all of my other shoes. I kind of just had so many shoes that I had to put them somewhere. But I really like the way that it looks. Alright, moving on to this wall. This part hasn't really changed that much. I have this picture that I got from Michaels along with my little boater hat. And then I displayed two of my tote bags here on top of my suitcase stacks. These suitcases are actually from Liz Lisa, but I think you can find similar ones like on Amazon. So I will try to link them down for you below. And I actually have my suitcase that I'm currently packing. This is going to sound really insane, but I'm actually already packing for my wedding trip in February to Thailand. And yeah, that is what I've packed so far. I know it's like seven, eight months away, but I like to start early, okay? I'm, I'm an insane person. Alright, next we have my little desk. I honestly don't do any work here. I like to do most of my work on the couch, but I do love having this little display. Here I just have a couple of my planners, and then I actually put um, the SL Miss Glam brush books that I have on here too, just because I love the way that looks. This part is a little bit more disorganized, but I just honestly didn't know what to do with some of my like decorations and some of my little plushies that I have, so I decided to put them all up on here. I also have this little nutcracker that I got like last Christmas. 
And then a couple of makeup brushes from SL Miss Glam all displayed here. I just love the way that it looks. Like if I do want to, you know, sit down on my laptop here, I can just relax and have like a desk environment. Obviously this desk is from Ikea and then this little like shelf is also from Ikea. Along with this chair, and this chair is actually um, from the kids section, so I just love that it was pink, obviously. Next, I have my little planner cart, and it's got a lot of my things, like washi, and then there are like sticker kits here in the middle, and more like stickers on the bottom. So I just kind of keep all of my planner supplies in here. When I do want to do something creative and plan, I can just pull this out and have all of my stuff here with me. Next, I just have two more pictures that I got from Michaels. This one says, Hello Darling. And this one's just like a little abstract painting. And then we finally get to my clothing wall. So on the top, I just have a couple more like shopping bags and these really cute S and N gold displays that Noah got us. So here I have my clothing kind of organized by color. It starts off with like more pinks, then goes to whites and then to blues. I actually just bought these like rose gold hangers so I decided to try and color coordinate the hangers a little bit so it starts off with rose gold and then it goes into yellow gold and then it goes into the silver. I keep all of my dresses here just because I love the way that it looks and it's like the perfect length for dresses. I mean we did it like this on purpose. This is actually also another Ikea sword system where you can customize like if you want to put bars or if you want to put shelves and obviously we decided to just put the dresses here. And then moving down I just have a couple more shoes. I keep all of my like kind of more kawaii like Japanese shoes down here and then on the bottom we have another little hanger system that I've moved closer to the floor and it's like the perfect height to put my skirts and shorts. Again, I try to do it by color. I have my Liz Lisa pink and white skirts here, and then I move on to more of my brown and beige skirts, and then I have my blues and grays, and then my, like, one red skirt right there. I really just think that organizing by color is, like, more aesthetically pleasing than any other system, so I always try to organize by color, but obviously I don't have too many colors that I even like, so I mean, it kind of all blends together anyway. Here is another overview shot of what this little display looks like. Alright, moving on, I have this last clothing rack that I got from Amazon. If you've been watching my videos for a while, it's actually my old school background display that I used to use for all my videos. But what I actually keep on here is a couple of my new pieces. So these are all of my like newer dresses and then some of my newer skirts. And then these aren't new, but they're a little bit longer, so I couldn't put them on like my skirt display down here. And then I have some of my like coat. And then right here, we kind of just have like all of the stuff that I'm selling on my Depop. If you didn't know, I do put some of my old clothing on Depop to sell just to make room for some new clothes and make a little bit more money. I'll link my Depop down below for you guys if you're interested in buying any of my clothes. And then on the bottom here, I actually just have all of the accessories like shoes and bags that I'm also selling my Depop as well. I just like putting it like this because it keeps them out of the way, but then they also can still be displayed in my room, so it kind of goes with the theme of it. And whenever I do decide to sell something, I just move it from like this rack to this one, and then I know to put it on my Depop later. And then the last thing that I wanted to show you guys is actually this dress that I have hanging right here. This is one of my favorite, favorite dresses. I just love it so much. It's from Mercury Duo, a Japanese brand. And then I have this hanger that my friend got me for like a wedding present, and it just has my new last name on it. And I just thought it would be really, really pretty to display this dress on here. So I kind of have it shoved in the corner, but I really didn't know where else to put it. All right, and lastly, we have the closet that comes in the closet, I guess. So this is where I keep all of my tops. I have my long sleeve white tops here, and then I have my long sleeve pink tops, and then short sleeve pink top, and then short sleeve white top. So again, it's organized by color. It kind of goes like in a gradient. And then on the bottom, I just have my jackets, so white jackets, pink jackets, and then blue jackets. And then this is also another section of clothes that I am selling. There's a lot of stuff on my Depop right now, and plus, I don't, I don't even think I put all of these up there yet. Like, I still have to take pictures of some of them, but I like to keep them in here just to keep them out of the way. Here I have shoe boxes filled with all of my underwear and stuff. So this one I keep socks, this one I keep underwear, and this one I keep bras. So they are just shoe boxes, and I think that's a great tip if you guys are looking for, like, ways to recycle shoe boxes. I like to use them as drawers, I guess, in storage. And then up top, it's kind of a little bit messy, but I have more, like, boxes, like my Louis Vuitton boxes and um, just some other shoe boxes. And this part is a little bit messy, 
empty but I just keep like some of my hats and like my tote bags up there and now moving to the last section of the closet I just have yes more shoes <laughs> so these are all the shoes that aren't like so pretty I guess they're like my boots and my sneakers and some sandals and some flats and I just like to keep them in here because they aren't as aesthetically pleasing as my other shoes and if you're wondering I actually got this little shoe rack here from Target a really 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 long time ago and one more thing that I wanted to mention, I do have this really cute fluffy rug that I got from Amazon not too long ago. It is so freaking soft and it just like, it feels amazing and it wasn't that expensive. I know my room is already carpet so it's kind of weird to have a rug in here but I really just wanted to make the place more pink so I decided to put that there. And I like to lay on this rug and look at my display whenever I'm bored or lonely. <laughs> And alright, that was it you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys liked seeing all the stuff in my room. Like I said, if you do see something that I didn't talk about or mention, please ask me in the comment section down below and I will gladly try to find it for you or let you know where I got it from. If you like this video and if you love pink and if you love cute and girly things, please, please, please subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I upload videos every single week so I'd love to see you back here. And with that, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!